that? Oh yeah, it's a Rolls Royce, yeah. And a Batman, quite right. Busy, busy, busy. Back on it. <laughs> Ten pound all you can eat. I asked the guy if he does kosher. He said yes. <laughs> I know he doesn't, but he said he does. Oh, Charles and Camilla's on this. They are very low. The planes, you know. Wheels down. It's all about Charles these days. Used to be the Queen's picture everywhere. It's been a while since I've been here. Havana House. It's been a while since I've been. Yeah. Some big Donnells up there. Some very nice Donnells. Very unusual, Dunhill, Ford Cantered. Uh, yeah, sorry, I don't know very much about this. That is not a figure. But the prices are just ridiculous. Even robust, that's not a robust either, or is it? Oh, maybe it is. 80 quid. 35 in the window. Not sustainable, in my opinion, but who knows? UK exclusive 140. Wow. Especially selected 26, 95. Haven't had one of those in a while. Lots of new worlds. Really, really nice selection of new worlds. Eleven and fifty. Oh, I haven't had one of those. Thirty-seven twenty. I might have to grab one. Do you have a like a, a list of the Frederick Tran to tobaccos to so say which one which one them is? Do you have like a sheet which just says what each blend is? Oh, the Frederick Tran. Some Aaron Moore flake, I might get a tin of that. Got some full Virginia flake over there. And I didn't realise, but you can get Capstan Blue. And maybe it's old stock, I don't know. You've got the full range, well, two of the Amphoras. Four of full and Amphora original. Aaron Moore mixture, some Bruno, Condor. Oh, maybe I'll get the long cut for somebody that likes it. Special Virginia, I haven't had that in a while. Very, very busy today. Don't know where that train's going to. Eighteen ninety four, it looks like October eighteen ninety four. Is this 
they've obviously redecorated it and refurbished it and looked after it. You can see the gold paint on the top is, is new. Well, in actual fact, it looks like it's a replica. Full scale replica of the GW Achilles class 422 locomotive. According to my daughter, that plane is an A380. Smoking a tadpole with some London fog. Very, very nice. It's a Cullinan. That's the version. Looks like Look that wood on the dash there. Very nice. No. Yeah. There was like orange lamb to eat like that high in town. So this guy like, came out there. Time for a boat ride. Inside and the open side of the upper deck boathouses lying on the waterfront. Rowing is a popular activity at Eton. The boys choosing either that or cricket as their summer sport. Those who choose cricket are known as dry bobs, or the for called wet bobs. We're now proceeding upstream on the River Thames, which takes us in a roughly westerly direction. The 1440 by King Henry VI, originally named as the King's College of Our Day in Eton, the side of Windsor. Incidentally, the college owns nearly all of the land on our right hand side from here to well beyond our turning point. Though in fact, only portions of the land in many parts of the country, this being largely due to an outdated practice whereby parents of Eton boys used to donate. Rowing is a popular activity at Eton. The boys choosing either that or cricket as their summer sport. Those who choose cricket are known as dry bobs, whilst the rowers are called wet bobs. We are now proceeding upstream on the River Thames, which takes us in a roughly westerly direction. This would lead eventually to Oxford and beyond, though to reach Oxford would take approximately two to Nice boats. This plant of great to in 1975. In 1883, Winter Central Station became part of the London Underground Network, when the district line was extended from the East to the Doctors! Coming down that ramp is fun. Coming up on our right, across the base of the bridge. There's Windsor Racecourse over there. You can see horses walking along. I believe there are some races today on Bank Holiday. We'll see more of this at various stages right up to our turnaround point. We're currently passing the area behind the grandstands. Racing began here at Bridge. There's a track on the road. This is the Winter Race Course Yacht Basin, situated on the road to the Fort of Bowie's Island. No horses. As we travel along the tree line of the Thames, there is an abundant fishing of our cores at the Royal Mount of Kingsbury, in what we now know as Old Windsor, until his death in January 1066. The proximity to the River Thames is no doubt the prime news of the choosing of this location, the waterway being the river. Murder mystery. Ooh. There's a nice boat. What am I going on holiday on that? It's a nice boat. There's another one. Splashed. It's 
Vanguard cars. Hornby train set. Daddy, yeah. Some kind of guns? calculating machine. Can you get guns? It's big. Guns? Yeah. Couldn't tell you. Well, why are you asking me then? And it's real. It's probably a lighter or something like that. Oh, look at that Mick McQuaid cut plug. Creepy, but pretty cool. The bunting must still be up from uh, the coronation. Because have run and walked down a bit further up and this is a very nice quiet serene little i think it's called eaton's pool or something like that nice little bridge and i've decided to stay behind and have a pipe i'm having another bowl in the tadpole london fog it's been very pleasant The daddy lighter. Ah, troubles here. Oh, trouble. Mm. Is this yours? The little robin red dress. Right in the shadow of that bench, right there. Maybe it'll come out. Barnes Pool, it's called. That's a nice view. They're part of Eton College, right? notices anybody who has to do detention because they've been naughty first room it's the what now we've got different uh, cubby holes for the different post the different boys No, it's private. Why did you say that? No. 
evening all, I hope you are well. Um, I realised I hadn't really done a kind of a, a signing off clip whilst we were out, so I thought I'd uh, say hello once back indoors. Um, so I picked up some Condoron cut and I realised that I made a mistake. Well, I was misled, perhaps unintentionally. So I picked up the Magnum, the uh, H. Upman cigar, and when I got it back home and I had a look at it, I saw that it was the, it just shows that sometimes if you don't check properly, you end up sometimes not getting what you expect. So this is a Magnum 54, not a 50. Now that threw me because I've had Magnum 50s, although on the video before I said I haven't had that. That's because I saw the size of it and I thought that's like a short, like a robusta size in a 50 ring gauge because it said Magnum 50. I've had loads of Magnum 50s, but those are, you know, like six and a half inch, something like that, um, a 50 ring gauge, but they're long cigars. Um, so I thought I was looking at something new. I thought this was like a shorter version of the Mag 50. So I... Sorry about that, uh, the phone just jumped out of its cradle. Anywho, so I thought it was something new. I thought this was a shorter Magnum 50, so I thought I'd try it. It wasn't cheap, um, but it's just a Magnum 54. I've had plenty of them, so I feel a little bit cheated. I'm sure it wasn't intentional. They probably just put them in the same slot that previously had Magnum 50s. Um, so I just thought I'd better clear that up because I'm sure some eagle-eyed amongst you have probably realized that something had gone awry. I have another one of these uh, Particus E2s. What a cracking cigar. Um, I had a few of these, I got gifted a few of them, and, um, and I was gifted this as well. This is a Monte Cristo A, I think it is. It's like a, Lonsdale type thing and apparently it's from I think 2011 um, but um, the guy that I got it from I actually posted a picture of his humidor recently um, on Facebook and Instagram he's got a big collection of cigars I think he got them in the airport duty free um, and he got them cheaper possibly the box was damaged or something like that um, and he got them for the pre-increased price then it was discounted because the box was damaged but 2011 I mean it's I think this box was just sitting in the corner somewhere in duty free um, and uh, was suddenly brought out it's been there for so long you can see that it's got a little bit of a like a soft box press it's all you know the, the corners are rounded but there is a certain squareness to it um, I don't know excuse me I don't know if that's intentional or if that's just because it's been boxed for so long. Um, what I did note was that the aroma is very, very weak. And I wonder how this will taste. Sometimes when they've been sitting and they haven't been looked after 100%, you know, the oils, the essential oils which are in the leaf can evaporate. And it could well be this will be a very bland cigar. On the other hand, I've had lots of cigars where it didn't smell great on the, on, on the when you bring it up to your nose before you light it but it tasted fantastic. So I'm really curious to see how this one tastes. And you can see the age, because the band is the old Bastar band, um, which I think they changed in, uh, when did they change it? They put that gold, um, that gold sort of um, design in there on the current bands. I can't remember if it's, is it 2013 maybe, 2015? I seem to think that it, that it actually happened whilst I'd already started smoking a cigar, so perhaps 2015 onwards. I don't know. Anyway, so I just thought I should clear that up. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed our little day out. I'll catch you on the next one.